Hello, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to talk about finding the probability from a contingency chart or table. Um, this is what it's going to look like. We have uh, cats and dogs that live to be 21 years old, 22 years old, or 23 years old. And I'm going to answer all of these questions. I'm going to leave them on the screen for a minute so you can see if they're one that you're looking for is in there. But I'm going to go through these one by one. You can answer these questions in lowest terms, fractions in lowest terms, or decimals to two places for me. Uh, but be sure and read the directions on whatever your instructor is asking you to do or whatever program you're using. So in the first case, it says if one pet is chosen at random, find the probability that they live to be 22 years old. So we can see that our sample space is 61 pets. So we're going to have a 61 as our denominator. The pets that live to be 22, there's 20 of them. And so if I was to um, look at that, it would be 20 over 61. That's reduced to lowest terms. Always re do reduce your fractions to lowest terms if you need to. If one pet is chosen at random, find the probability that it's a cat. So uh, when we look at cats, there is a total of 35. And so we're just looking at there's 35 cats out of 61 possible. So again, reduce if you need to. This one does not need to be reduced. If one pet is chosen at random, find the probability that it was a cat that lived to be 23 years old. So this is really specific. We want a cat and we want it to live to be 23 years old. So that's seven, only seven out of the whole group. So that's gonna be seven as our numerator. And again, we picked one out of the group, so there's 61 total. What percent of pets live to be only to only be 21 years old, which isn't only, but I mean, they didn't go beyond that. Round to your, your percent to the nearest hundredths. So anybody, any pet that lived to be 21 years old, that is 21 pets. And then, we're out of 61. So what I wanna do, if I wanna give that as a percentage, I wanna say 21 divided by 61, which gives me this decimal. And the reason I went out so far is because I wanna round my percent to the hundred. So I wanna to have to go out to, so that I can move this decimal point two places and still be able to round correctly at the end. Once I move that over two places, I can see that at, to the hundreds, that would round to 0.43. So it'd be 34.43% of the pets that we're looking at live to be exactly 21 years old. If one pet is chosen at random, find the probability that it was a cat, given that it lived to be 22 years old. Now this is different than what we've, this is sort of a, I just threw this in because I saw this one in here, but we're talking about, we already know that this we're in this category. They live to be 22 years old. That's a 20 on the denominator. And then it was a cat, so that's 8 out of 20. So we were given a specific column to look at, and then I would reduce that to lowest terms. Number six, find the probability that the pet was a dog or lived to be 23 years old. So we know that, that there's a total of 28 dogs, and we know that there's a total of 23 pets that live to be 23. But we have this five that was counted for dogs and it was also counted for the 23 year old group. So whenever you have that, you wanna make sure that you add up the number of dogs and the number of pets that live to be 23, but then subtract off that five so it's not getting added in there twice. If you add 28, 12 minus five, you get 35. And so the, there was a dog or to live to be 23, there was 35 out of 61. And finally, find the probability that the pet did not live to be 23 years old. So all we have to do is look up here and see here's how many lived to be 23 and all the rest were not living to be 23. And that is 21 plus 20 or 41 out of the 61 didn't make it to 23. So 41 out of 61. And that's a whole bunch of probabilities really quick. I hope this is helpful. Have a fantastic day.